fumbling around with the junk in your trunk. I, why are you laughing? Oh my god. No, not that junk in the trunk. <laughs> junk in the trunk. <clears throat> I meant when you're fumbling around with the junk in your trunk when you get a flat on the highway. You have to put all your stuff on the side of the road, then dig out the spare and make sure nothing rolls or gets blown away by passing traffic. Stop the insanity and get this high to spare. It's a manual release but can hold 45 kilograms and comes with mounting equipment. For $200, it can be yours. And now you've got time for better things than fumbling around with the junk in your trunk. I should have worded that differently. I really should have. Or if you want something automatic, you can get the electric spare tire winch. It's powered by your car battery and only takes about 30 seconds to move in and out. The seller says it's an easy install and we'll take their words for it. Next, what do you do when you're having a good day, a bad day, or just trying to get away from it all? You go fishing, of course. What better addition to your fishing gear than this Yakima topwater? This is basically a roof rack for your fishing gear. It holds eight fishing rods that are up to 2.4 meters in length with padded inserts and straps, so it can carry cases and boxes that hold your bait, tackle, and other smaller equipment. The case itself is 2.6 meters long and has drainage holes, so when you're all done, there's no fluid building up. Gah, that makes it sound like it's more than just water, doesn't it? There's a one key lock system, so you can use the same lock for your rods and boxes, and a universal mount for the roof, as well as some trailers. We have to say, for $629, that's a pretty good investment if you're an avid fisherman. Okay, so what's one thing you do when you're fishing, hunting, or doing anything outdoors? Driving. You spend countless hours driving to that perfect spot. And while you may end up leaving empty-handed, you don't want to leave with an empty gas tank. The ARB Frontier Long Range Fuel Tank is a new 180 liter, yeah, fuel tank that's compatible with many vehicle fuel systems currently on the market. It has seven to nine millimeter wall thickness and is made from polymer, which is lighter than most fuel tanks. Now, they did run it over with a tank to show how durable it is. Yeah, I don't know about you, but it looked pretty smashed to me. I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. The downside to this tank, though, is the polymer can only be used with diesel. But hey, if you've got a diesel and you're willing to drop $1,100, this is for you, my friend. All right, maybe fishing isn't quite your thing. Or maybe it is, but you're also taking your hot rod or sports car to car shows. You remember the mannequin challenge from 2016? Remember when people were standing frozen next to a car like a group of mannequins? Yeah, don't be that person that comes up with another stupid gimmick to get your car attention. Instead, get yourself a set of portable display ramps. They're these versatile ramps for auto shows. They're 36 centimeters, come in either black or yellow, and run $74 or $55 depending on what you get. Elevate your car above the rest, literally, and leave the stupid gimmicks and bad memories for that other idiot. I mean, he's been standing still for like 45 minutes trying to get it right. It's just sad at this point. Speaking of other idiots, do you know that there are some people that haven't subscribed yet? Don't be one of those people. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of tech heads. Then you won't miss out on any new uploads or the awesome giveaways. All right, moving on. What's one invention that's so popular, looks so cool, and yet is so incredibly useless? Yep. You got it. It's a lift kit. The any level lift can lift your car or truck up to 33 centimeters in the front and 30 centimeters in the back. Keep in mind that it doesn't raise the axle, so forget about driving over traffic because it will not work. And and, and I am I am deadly serious about that. I, I, I'm still in a lot of trouble. However, a cool feature is it's controlled by your smartphone, so you can show it off even when you're not in it. Unfortunately, it's not compatible with all cars, and if it has a GVWR of more than 4.5 tons, the clearance is limited to 20 centimeters. Again, and I can't stress this enough, it does not raise the axle, so there will be no driving over cars. Trust me on that one. This next gadget is, is pretty cool, but it's used more by bigger companies, but you know, we thought it was worth talking about. We're talking about the long haul trucking industry, who in one year has done $182 billion. They use things such as the Tommy Gate cassette lift gate for trucks and compact vans. For instance, the V2 has a 500 kilogram payload capacity and is compatible with Ford, Nissan, and Chevy. These have become so popular that there are 900 companies worldwide that use them. I don't know who came up with those, but whew, it sounds like they're making bank. Need a leg up? 
Truly, Glide Step plus Fold Step technology, baby. These offer two different models. One offers a 200 kilogram capacity and extends in 1.5 seconds and is equipped with an LED strip. Both are 1.2 meters wide, but the second has a 205 kilogram capacity and is opened manually. This manufacturer is a world leader in design for EMS and also electric cabs in London. I say I must be pretty dapper. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Oh, come on, you can't say you didn't see that coming. Okay, think of that one person you think needs to use every type of protective equipment available when they get behind the wheel. Thought of someone? Right. Now, tell them they need Rhino Impact Step Connect Plus. These protect vehicles as well as assisting with parking more carefully. They're equipped with parking sensors and, in the event they were to hit something, they compress by six centimeters to avoid causing scrapes and dings. They also have a pivoting bracket which absorbs corner impact. It's mostly used for Mercedes-Benz Sprinter vans, but hey, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before your accident-prone friend can get them too. Ever see those vans that look super bulky? Probably because they're using brawn ability. Okay, so full disclosure, I was gonna give you yet another useless fact, but I just don't have any more energy for that. So this ramp, as you've probably seen it in action, is for production cars and has a whopping 363 kilogram capacity and 71 centimeter width. The controls are found in a compact key fob and the modified interior allows the front seat to have wheels to allow for even further comfortable riding for those in the rear of the vehicle. For those of you working with heavy machinery, this may be of interest. Cranman is a type of transport for specialized machinery. The entry-level model can carry 1.6 tons, has a crane, and a hydraulic removable bogey. The Robson Drive system allows it to go off-road without the expense of tires or all-wheel drive. Need a little more torque for rough terrain? The arm easily adds torque to wheels and, when you don't need it, raise the arm back up. This is also a great way to add an additional axle, especially when using something like an ATV. This thing is awesome, man. Does anyone remember the 1968 Alfa Romeo Carabo concept car? Yeah, me either. But I wasn't born yet, so that's my excuse. Apparently, this was the first car to rock the scissor doors, which everyone now goes batshit crazy for. Another issue that seems to come up is that people use the words interchangeably when they are, in fact, very different. The truth is, if you care, the butterfly doors differ slightly to the scissor doors, as they have their hinges alongside the A-pillar, while scissor doors have them at the bottom of the A-pillar. The butterfly doors also open straight up, although making a shorter movement, and they also open out afterwards to give more space to the passenger. So now you know. Some of you might have thought that was useless, some of you might have not. Good news though, if you drive a Chevy Corvette C7, it'll only cost you $2,200 on parts and install. If you don't drive one of those though, like, you know, probably 8 billion of us, well then, it may be more. I mean, hey, I had scissor doors on a Toyota Celica, so it can be done, baby. All right, fellas, what would go great with scissor or butterfly doors? A kick-ass spoiler, of course. Active Aero is a wing system that adapts to your driving in real time. What does that mean for you? It means you get faster with every lap. This is made possible by Kevlar and carbon fiber construction and boasts a control panel in the passenger compartment. And for only $3,000, that's right, it's yours. Now, I built up a little energy, so I got one more useless fact for you. The car shown here is a Master MX-5. Yes, a Mazda Miata. And in 2011, the 900,000th model rolled off the lot with its new owner, making it the best-selling roadster for the fourth time.